Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. One of the main reasons that I've been able to maintain my sobriety this time and find some sort of peace is that I had to find honesty. I had to find honesty around other people obviously, particularly those I loved. But most of all, I had to become brutally honest with myself, which is a really difficult thing to do. I spent most of my life lying and cheating and, uh, with, other, with other people, telling them half-truths and manipulating and um, just not being open and honest with them, hiding all the time. But most of all, Right through all my addictions, I was dishonest with myself. I blamed everything and everyone for my addictions. So I had to become brutally honest. And I'm going to share in this video with you a home truth, which I found really uncomfortable, but was essential to my sobriety. And you're probably going to find uncomfortable as well. But firstly, Please an appeal, if you've had any help or your family have had any help from any of my videos over the last six years, please take a moment just to click the link in the description, have a quick read and see if you can help me in any way to move the channel forward. Um, I'd be truly grateful for this and thank you to all those of you who've made the effort and done that already. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. So honesty. Honesty now is one of the main pillars of my sobriety. I think going to um, meetings, for me anyway, has helped that. However, I always knew really in the past that I found an excuse for my addictions everywhere and anywhere. And I was never truly honest. I never truly admitted I had uh, issues most of the time, which was ridiculous when you look at the lifestyle that I led, both with alcohol and drugs. The thing is, we tell ourselves, and I read this all over the place, and I get people contacting me all the time, and they blame alcohol and drugs, you know, they blame the alcohol industry and the, and, and the pharmaceutical industry for, the, for their issues. You know, it's just another, another excuse, if you like. And I was exactly the same as that. And yes, of course, the alcohol industry and the pharmaceutical industry are in it all to make money and exploit. That's a, a fact. There's no doubt about it. But you can't blame the alcohol or the drugs for our addictions. And this is the bit you're going to probably find uncomfortable. And many people can't face this truth. You haven't got an alcohol or a drug problem. You've got a you problem. You've got a problem that makes you want to abuse these substances abnormally. You want to escape from the way you are feeling inside, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. You're running away from fear, from pain, from uncomfortable feelings, from hard decisions, making any excuse along the way to use drink and drugs. You know, it, it, then it leads on to dependency and full addiction, obviously. But all the time you're doing this and, and all the time you're working up to this with addiction, you're making these excuses to myself, yourself. You basically say, I'll reward myself. I've had a hard day at work, drink. Oh, I feel shitty today. I need some help with my energy, drug, etc., etc., etc. Feel happy, feel sad, feel tired. Celebrate. Whatever it is you use and you make that excuse, you're dishonest with yourself, and then you lie and manipulate around other people to hide your drinking, to hide your drug using, to hide your drink and drugs. And then you blame the alcohol and the drugs for the problem. The thing is, alcohol in particular, ethanol, it was, uh, it, it, we all know, you know, the science tells us, although we've had a lot of bullshit in the past about an odd drink being good for you, we know that as soon as we ingest any alcohol, our body tries to expel it. It damages every single organ in your body. Ethanol is poison, poison to the human body. 
Originally, it was used in medicines and for cleaning wounds and for undergoing cosmetics and all sorts of stuff. And then we found it could change the way we felt. See, the thing is, that's your choice to drink that, that poison. If you went along into a supermarket and saw a row of bleach on the shelves, you'd buy the bleach to clean your toilet. Um, you wouldn't be thinking about buying the bleach to drink it because you know it's poisonous for you. Well, you know in your mind that alcohol is poisonous for you, but you'll make that excuse. Well, it won't kill me straight away. Like bleach would, it would burn your throat out, obviously. You make the choice to drink it. It's exactly the same, except a slower death. Simple. You know, and getting your head around that, and getting your head around the fact that taking the first or drink, sorry, avoiding the first drink or the first drug will keep you sober one day at a time. That simple truth. And being honest with yourself and telling yourself, you know, let's deal with our fears and our emotions and our uncomfortableness and our pain. Let's try and deal with it some other way rather than to hide it and mask it. Because as sure as eggs is eggs, that drink and that drug will make things a thousand times worse, particularly over a period of time. Until eventually it will take every single thing from you that you love and hold dear and then come back for your health and kill you. No doubt about it, that will happen. That's not a, a prophecy or woo-woo, that is fact. And it nearly did me and nearly took my life, which is why I squeeze every single drop out of my life at the moment. And I'm brutally honest with myself, and I hate being honest with myself sometimes, and telling myself what a twat I am for thinking that way, and to snap myself out of it and start think, driving my mind along another path. And, it is uncomfortable and the pain, you know, it doesn't, stopping drinking and drugs doesn't solve every issue in your life and all that pain and that shit you are running from doesn't magically go away. But you can work towards it with a clear head and eventually you can solve it with a clear head. And, and if nothing else, learn to live with it happily. You know, or it's there in the background, probably some things are so terrible, they can always, they'll always be there in the background but you can learn to live a happy life and be grateful. It's as simple as that. So don't make excuses to yourself. Take responsibility for your addictions. Take responsibility for your drinking. Take responsibility for your drug using. Take responsibility for your bloody life and, and get a grip on it and make the right choices. It's your choice. Everything you do is your choice. Yes, there may be things that push you in certain directions, but ultimately, you have the power to choose everything in your life. Every single choice I've ever made has led me to making this video today, which I hope is helpful to you all. Please subscribe, please like, please click on the link in the description. It will really help out the channel. Carpe diem, my friends. Stay, stay strong, take responsibility. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.